Hey y'all, happy Sunday. God is so, so good. Um, when I woke up this morning, I had so much joy in my heart. And I remember being in such bad shape. I remember I used to just pray like, God, I just want to be happy. Like, I ain't, I didn't know how that would happen, what would do it for me, but I just want to be happy. And, you know, in my walk, in my journey, it's him. And we discover that the deeper our relationship grows with him, right? So that's one thing. Um, Yesterday was very, very interesting. He had been warning me of some stuff. Um, It happened. And I remember when I prayed last night, I was like, God, I don't want to hold on to this. And I prayed over the people and it reminded me of the uh, moment for life word that y'all know from labor day and understanding that everybody does not get to that place everybody is not in that place what is that place like freedom and wins in him like all these things we've been learning and live and experience um everybody dies but not everybody lives like that was very apparent to me yesterday Um, and also being in a place where I was like, in 2023, I am not, you know, like coming in and nobody mess with them. I'm not coming into prison with you to sit in there. And now I'm back in there. I I help you come out, but that's it. You get what I'm saying? So that has been going on on like the flip side of things, like what we would call insight to possibly warfare. Right. But I remember I was thinking like, Lord, don't let this have no hold on me. And when I woke up this morning, I was fine. Right. Like. Um, dreams was a little throw, but I've, I was just so happy. So went to church, church was amazing. Um, and when I got home, I went to listen to particular songs and I went to a particular verse. So that's really what I want to share with y'all. But in me doing that, something else had happened. Pamela, man, this place is just my jam. Like I never thought I'd be in this place. What is this place? I don't know, but I like it here. My God sis just posted that, uh, uh, something I seen it the other day. And I really do love it here. And so tell me, man, this place, that's my jam. But I've also told y'all this before. I can only imagine it's one of those songs where I ain't never listened to it. And I was like, okay, like the glory, the anointing on that song every time. And so I was playing it and um, I was just kind of rocking and crying in the kitchen, you know, like a real intimate moment. And the Holy Spirit was telling me to pay attention to how I was moving. And it looked like I was dancing with somebody. I'm not even paying attention to any of this. I'm literally just in here in praise and worship. And I'm rocking and swaying. And it looked like I was dancing. Like this hand was up and this other hand was down here, like in front of my stomach. And it looked like I was dancing. Think about that. A lot of people look like that in worship, right? Like this one hand be up, one hand be down. And you, you be swaying and stuff. And I was like, it looks like I'm dancing with... And then it was, you know, like really intimate, really, really sweet. And so I'm listening to, I can only imagine, and y'all know how he been like, um, we're about to taste and see that the Lord is good, like taste and see. And this isn't the first time he's told me this, but it's the first time, not that verse, but I'm saying like, there have been different instances where he was like, this is just a little taste. Like this is just a little preview for you for like what's to come in my life. But when I was having that moment of worship, he was telling me, like, when we experience those moments here on earth, whether it is like um, praise and worship, or you feel overwhelmed by creation, like when you go to the beach, or when really good things happen, and you know that that feeling that we feel, that is truly just a taste of what heaven is going to be like. That's why we pray like heaven come down, right? We really can't only imagine if we get overwhelmed in those moments, we cry in those moments. We feel the beauty. We feel his glory. We feel all that in those moments. I really can only imagine like what eternity in heaven with him is like. And I know that it's paradise. I know that. And when we have that relationship with him, we bring that down so we can experience it here. So I thought that was really sweet. And I'm like, I'm really up in here dancing with you. Like, oh, and then, um, Lastly, Psalms 84, this will randomly follow my spirit. And they was kind of hitting at it at church. There was a different verse or a different song at least. But um, one day, 
in your course is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord than dwell in the tents of wickedness. And that's just on period. Okay. Do you believe that though? And honestly, if you're struggling with placement in your kingdom spouse's life and even just like the temptation and stuff we've been through and, um, you know, like, why is your heart really in it? Like, do you just want somebody to take pictures with? Do you just want somebody to take you on a date? Do you just like, what do you actually want? And that's the place we get to with God first. One day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. One day with my kingdom spouse, one a moment of quality time with him is better than all the random um, dates with a counterfeit I could ever have. I would rather be a doorkeeper in your house. I would rather, rather be a doorkeeper in your house than dwell in tents of wickedness. Bae, I would rather be your friend for now, right? Than be out here where I'm not in alignment, where God is not at. And that's just where we got to be, like... I, I I hear it. Like I was having a moment with God. I wasn't even thinking about this man. <laughs> then he will show me. Like you see how you just got to this place with me. And then when we think about it with them. Okay. So yeah. Happy Sunday. I love y'all.